Excess data and, and marketers drowning in data has always been a challenge if you're in, in any kind of a marketing environment, um, especially today. Today, in the last two years, the explosion of data has, has doubled, more so than any, any, any years prior to it, and it's gonna double again. And so I think the first way marketers don't get bogged down and actually use it as an advantage is you've gotta understand that the data is where consumers' behaviors are. Where consumers' behaviors are is where you get to, get to mine insights. Once you understand the insight, you can connect your brand in a relevant way to that consumer. So data is a good thing. Second, you need an infrastructure to harness it and to enable you to cut it a hundred different ways to take a look at what really is, is, is the most important thing for you. And the last is we've got to get comfortable with, with creating customized content. We've got to get comfortable with understanding how those insights turn into uh, creative campaigns that then link to consumers in a way that actually drives purchase. So it's not a bad thing, but the tools today have to be there to harness it for the marketers to act on it. There is no one model that exists. I think today if you're going to play in this space and you're going to win in this space, you have to have a data management platform that lets you cut and look at, at this data in a hundred different ways so you can segment your consumers appropriately. I think you've got to take advantage of programmat programmatic buying um, through a demand selling platform. And those two pieces, I think, are, are the cornerstones of what you need. But really from there, I think it becomes um, very competitively advantage how companies build the infrastructure to win in the marketplace. And, uh, and there's no tool or technology that exists that is universal that I can say, go to Walmart and buy this. And as a company, you would. That's not the case. You've got you've to build your way into this, and you've got to place a bet with where you think it's going and build to that bet. The next frontier of data is going to require us to be um, financial managers. It's going to require us to be um, techno involved. It's going to involve. It's going to require us to continue to be consumer people. And so, um, I will tell you that, in my opinion, the next frontier of data is it, the next frontier in the data environment is to harness it, to frame it, and to act on it. Um, I don't know that any one path off of that mainframe strategy is going to enable anybody any faster. I think get it framed properly first is, is the next frontier for all of us to get ahead of. I do think consumers are willing to give companies data that help them make their lives better. And I think you will continue to see an explosion of that. Um, not all consumers are going to go there, but consumers are going to find ways to make their lives easier. And so for sure, that's going to be part of, of how they tap into, into the, the data, data network for themselves.